to make a video on how to mix your Bronner's soap. So we're starting with the almond flavor, which is my favorite because it smells really, really good. We have some pumps. This pump came from a hospital. This pump came from Target, which is nice because it's, it's a glass. So um, you don't have to worry about any chemicals from the plastic. So I do like this one and it's pretty too. And then this pump is just from, it's the method pump from Target. And then we have here some bottles that I made myself. They're just regular spray bottles. And I added the, um, the actual Dr. Bronner's label right onto them. And then this is the regular Bronner's bottle. And this is a Bronner's bottle. See, they're very versatile because the tops fit with just about any other um, screw on top. So this is, a, this is a pump I got from Walmart and I just screwed it on and it helps me to measure things out. And then this, the spray top also will fit on the bottle too. So um, it's kind of awesome that you can use this bottle for almost anything or you can use your own bottles with the, with the spray bottles. So uh, with a spray top, make sure you get a good top too. This isn't the best top, it's from a dollar store. It'll last you a month or so and then probably break. So you can spend a few bucks more and get a better top. But um, so this is our, this is our setup. And we are going to, I'm gonna show you with, with pumps. And each pump is about a teaspoon. So we're going to refill this bottle. We'll start with the method bottle. And there's still a little bit in there, but even if it were empty, it's not gonna be, it's not an exact science. You're going to get a few pumps. Um, I like to do about 15. So, but you can do 10 to 15, which is, um, essentially, I like to fill it up to about where it is right now in soap. And then the rest will be water. So we're going to do, let's do 10 to 15, see how it goes. You can do it to your liking, too, because you don't have to, um, you can make it stronger or weaker. I like it, I don't like it too strong, because then it, it pumps... Um, it pumps a little too thick. So, I like it a little bit thin, but not too thin. So, right here. And then we're going to fill the rest with water. And then we're going to put the cap on. And that's, that's about how much you want. Now remember, there is, there was still a little bit of soap left. So, and then we're going to fill the rest with water. And then with this, you do about the same. So, I do 15 to 20 pumps because it's a larger bottle. And I'm gonna fill it up to like about here. It's a little bit higher. So my guesstimation is a, it's about one part soap to four parts water. And again, you can decide based on what your preferences are. I, I like it to be somewhere in the middle, not too thick, but not too um, thin either. So I, this is the pump that I use for my dishes. You can use it for almost anything. So I use this on my dishes. It smells good. It's healthy. Um, there's no vapors going into the air with chemicals in it from your detergent. It's a very good, very natural soap. I use it on my baby dishes. And I had two premature babies, so it's completely safe. So see about this. Then we're going to put some water in that. And then this foam pump half full. So what we're going to do is we're going to do about five pumps and then we'll fill the rest up with water. Once a week I end up filling all my pumps up because we use a lot of the Dr. Bronner's in our house. We have a big household. We have seven people living here, four of which are children. So we don't want any of our kids to get into the supplies and accidentally drink the soap. So um, we're going to fill the rest up with water. So that's why we use Dr. Brown on almost anything. And so we also, for the cleaning service, when we clean residential houses, we'll use a bottle full of this. So what I do is I like it very light because I don't want it to be too sudsy when I'm cleaning the houses. So I actually only do one pump. I'm going to show you actually with the Dr. Brown's bottle, we're going to use that as the spray bottle. So I'm going to do one pump. Um, you can do one to three. It really just depends on how much, how thick you like it. I don't like it very thick because I don't like it to be too sudsy. I just want it to give me the right amount of cleaning and scrubbing ability, but not to be too sudsy. So let's do one more pump just for, just for the sake of this video. And we're going to fill the rest up with water. 
And then watch this. So the, this piece is a little too long, so you may want to cut it down. I'm not going to cut it down right now, just because I'm just going to show you how it screws right on. And you can spray it right from this bottle. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to go fill, fill these up with water, and then we're going to do our second demonstration. So this you can use on just about anything. Toilets, um, we use it on everything. We use it on toilets, we use it on um, sinks bathtubs. It's pretty good at scrubbing away soap scum and it rinses very clean very quickly which is what I really like about it. Um, and you can use it on countertops, floors, windows. It's streak free on the windows as long as you don't use it too concentrated. That's why I use it nice and light. However, it does have a shelf life. It only lasts about two weeks to a month when it's been mixed with the water because it could get contaminated. And what I'm doing with, what I like to do with like say toilets that are extra dirty, you wipe it with the browners, you spray it with the browners, you wipe it down, and then I actually go a second time with vinegar to disinfect it one more time. Because this doesn't have disinfectant in, it, disinfectant in it per se, however, it does a really good job on just about everything else. It deodorizes, it just doesn't have a specific disinfectant, so I like to go over the really extra soiled things with... Um, with vinegar afterwards too, because that is also a natural cleaner. Although I wouldn't mix vinegar and browner together at all because it'll make it curdle. And then um, you will negate all the purpose of having this great cleaner. So I'm gonna fill these up with water and then we'll do our next demonstration. If I have any questions, please ask. Thanks a lot.